Let's talk about keratoconus treatment. Treatment in the past for keratoconus was essentially rigid contact lenses, glasses, and when it got bad enough, cornea transplant. And to some extent, that's still the case today. Yes, you're trying to make vision better, but if the cornea is progressively getting more warped, if it's get progressively getting more cone-shaped, if it's progressively getting more irregular, well, it's also getting thinner. You're losing tissue. Um, and you don't get to walk that back. You don't get to make that cornea return to the way it used to be. The issue with not treating this right away with something else such as corneal cross-linking a topographic guided ablation is it just progresses and things get worse and if you're in a period where the cornea is actively progressing then you have this double whammy where the cornea is getting thinner as it progresses yet it's actually getting more irregular which requires more tissue to actually correct if you're going to correct it with laser reconstruction. So it's a bit of a double whammy. So really right now today, what we want to do is that when we find someone who has keratoconus, we want to treat them to stop the progression. There's two essential ways to stop progression. Actually one essential way to stop progression, two ways to handle treatment using it. Treatment to stop progression is corneal cross-linking. Corneal cross-linking is a <clears throat> procedure that uses a vitamin B, riboflavin, and ultraviolet light combined to create strengthening in between the corneal cells, period. Epithelial off cross-linking penetrates deeper. Epithelial on cross-linking doesn't penetrate as deeply. Deeper usually is better, okay? Why? Because it's a higher chance that there won't be any progression, okay? Um, if you do just cross-linking, you don't change the cornea. It changes a little bit. It actually flattens a little bit and you get some decrease in irregularity, but essentially you're kind of just freezing it in place. It's just saying stop to the cornea, okay? Don't go any further, okay? It's like putting up a little barrier that says, no, 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 you can't progress anymore, okay? The thing is, it doesn't change the cornea for the vision. The vision is still limited by the irregularity. If the cornea is not too regular, you can wear a scleral lens, an RGP lens, and see pretty well. If the cornea is more irregular, eh, you've got a problem, okay? Or if you're contact lens intolerant, you've also got a problem. So what we do, and what we prefer to do, is treat with corneal um, topographic guided ablation. It's corneal reconstructive laser surgery. Topographic guided ablation will decrease the irregularity of the cornea, making it more smooth and more like a natural cornea again. And then we flatten it with the corneal cross-linking. Sorry, we, we actually strengthen it or freeze it with the corneal cross-linking. So what we're doing is we're creating a more normal shape and then freezing it into place. This procedure was invented by Dr. Canalopoulos uh, in Athens and New York. He's become the world's expert on it. We actually use the exact same procedure with a few minor tweaks coming from my research into topographic guided ablation. Uh, we're one of our now only about two centers in the United States doing this, um, but it gives you the best chance not only of the best possible vision after the procedure, if you're from mild to moderate keratoconus, we can actually get you to sometimes not wear any glasses or contacts at all, which is amazing to take a keratoconus patient who's so disabled by this or headed towards significant disability and make it so they kind of have normal vision and normal eyes or close enough to that. It's pretty amazing. Um, or if we can't quite do that because it's gone too far, we can actually get rid of a lot of the correction, make the vision better, but make it easier to wear a soft lens, glasses, uh, easier to wear any sort of even hybrid or RGP lens or something like that. Um, so these fit pretty easily. Um, and of course the cross-linking stops progression. Uh, this really is the best and gold standard treatment um, in the world. Um, but of course it's a bit more complex so fewer people actually can do it. Uh, but we feel pretty strongly this is the absolute best keratoconus treatment.